Hey, good afternoon everyone, Bokheim and classmates. I'm Ivy Desus, taking off Master of Arts in Education, major in Educational Management, and I am tasked to do the one of the important concepts in the evaluation process. And before we start, Asher, may I ask what springs to your mind when you hear the word evaluate? All right, so you can see it on the screen, the word evaluate. Okay, so what is evaluation? It is the process of reviewing both the instructional components and the resulting outcomes of instruction to determine whether instruction achieved desired outcomes. All right, and how do you evaluate the effectiveness of instructional interventions? So what should we do? We have to uh, conduct an evaluation uh, study to understand how successful an instructional intervention has been in achieving their goals of the design instruction. So, paano po yun i-achieve? Kailangan meron tayong uh, purpose of the evaluation. So, how are we going to do it? First, we must know the objectives of the program. Second, you have to think um, widely, okay? So, what will you use as evidence of learner input? Okay, we have the criteria and the rubrics, right? So, these are just an examples of evaluation. Now, why are we evaluating that? Okay, so let's see if we have um, number one, all right? See the slide, number one is comparison. So yes, it's exactly that. Compare the actual learner's performance to the goals of instruction. So just like the sample, we have the acronym SMART uh, and then it identifies the areas of focus in goal setting. And it stands for specific, measurable, attainable, results-oriented, and um, time-bound, right? So I guess many of the teachers here know the SMART acronym, okay? So again, SMART is specific, measurable, attainable, results-oriented, or relevant, and time-bound, right? So for slide uh, number eight, hashtag number two, that is help. So what is help? We have to help our learners make decisions about their actions, all right? And like, uh, like they do, they need to study differently. Like, should they practice more? or uh, continuous learning in your self-motivated persistent in acquiring knowledge and competencies in order to expand their skills all right and set a new develop future opportunities so sometimes it forms part of your personal and professional development okay so it's an effort to avoid uh, stagnation, di ba? Kailangan po natin na uh, mag-aral o mag-aral, avoid stagnation. Ano nga kasi yung stag uh, stagnation? Alright? From the uh, root word stagnant, syempre, nahihinto yan, ano? Parang, uh, kumbaga sa tubig, pag nahihinto, nahi-stuck. Ha? So, hindi na siya magpo-flow ng maayos. So, ganun din sa pag-aaral or sa, sa ating skills. We have to reach your full potential, okay? And we help. Uh, we have to help them, okay, to uh, remain relevant and prepare for the unexpected uh, things in the future, right? Uh, boost their skills. Yung ating estudiante uh, or yado. Uh, that's why we have trainings, diba? Buildings and this team building spark ideas, okay? So acquiring new skills will unveil new opportunities and help you find 
innovative or innovative solutions problems. Okay, so that is hashtag number two, health. Okay, remember health. Next is um, number three, hashtag number three. That is monitoring. So, ano nga po ba yung monitoring? Okay, and bakit ito important? So, monitoring to monitor your learner's progress. So, as human beings, we are hardwired. Okay? And uh, we want to reach the finish line. So, natin, lagi tayong um, nagkakaroon ng progress. Okay? And we crave for completion. So, crossing items off, like uh, to-do list, right? And saying, we finished and we move on to the next thing. Okay? To stay committed, okay, to the work uh, that matters most, we need to find ways to measure, track, and feel good about the progress we make every single day. So, ako, for example, um, minomonitor ko yung uh, mga activities all throughout the day. Minsan, nagkakamali, pero, uh, syempre, if you're going to take this habit uh, seriously, it's really a good habit. Uh, monitor your to-do list, time management, every single day. And, uh, you can perform. Alright, for uh, slide number 10, what's that? We have the assessment. Okay? Hashtag assessment. Laging naririnig sa school. Assessment. Sa module, may assessment. Alright? So, on the other hand, to assess your teaching methods and learners' background knowledge, so, um, sipin mo, are they okay? Do, uh, do we get the results that we need? Sa mga estudyante, naintindihan ba nila mga tinutun? Diba? So, kailangan po ng assessment. Right? That's how important it is. Okay. So, after the assessment, ano mangyayari? We have the... What's that? Okay? So, that is revision. Right? Hashtag revision. Another one. Okay? You have to remind yourself to revise, okay? And uh, we may need to revise the program after this is Next is number 6. What is number 6? Okay, on the screen, you can see the word information, right? So, information, to provide information, uh, for the stakeholders or directors or uh, to the teachers, parents, you name it. Okay, you have the information. Okay, and as a teacher, you have to develop. Okay, develop. You have to determine the learner's uh, satisfaction. Okay, so next is um, the development, right? I was talking a while ago. So, that is development to develop the self-assessment in learners. And finally, what else? Okay. We have the four phases of evaluation. The first one is the preparation of phase. Ano nga po ba yung preparation of phase? So, we'll have to learn that later. Okay. Next is the assessment phase, evaluation phase, and reflection Okay, for uh, preparation phase, teachers decide what is to be evaluated and the type of evaluation to be used. Okay, the criteria upon which student learning outcomes will be judged. And the most appropriate assessment techniques for gathering information on student uh, progress. Okay, because um, sometimes iba-iba po sila ng learning process. So, kailangan, we have to prepare. Sa uh, DepEd, we have the detailed lesson plan, and so on. And uh, sa TESDA, uh, we have the session plan. Okay? So, that is our preparation phase. Next is the assessment. Teachers select appropriate tools and techniques, then collect and collate information on students' progress. Next is... Uh, teachers must determine where, when, 
and how assessments will be conducted and students must be consulted and okay so assessment uh, i always talk in the file back uh, it's really important uh, malaman kung ang bata ba ay nagtuto or hindi and after that have to make um or revision the program okay as much as possible okay next is evaluation phase teachers interpret assessment information and make judgments about students progress okay diba minsan pag attend tayo ng mga trainings and uh, uh, some seminars uh, usually sometimes uh, usually they give us or send us some link and then ask us for an evaluation if they understand or understood the process or uh, uh, the topics were discussed right so students are encouraged to monitor their own learning by evaluating their achievements on a regular basis so pa paano po yan okay so for um students kailangan sila mismo nakaka-monitor din ng ng um learning siguro dun sa 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 test na experience ko to as a student before we start the topic okay or uh, the subject kailangan meron kaming evaluation sa amin kaya ba namin gawin ng ganito kung hindi sabi mo no tinay tutuloy iba na namang revision ang gagawin ni uh, trainer right so we have uh, they are encouraging uh, to monitor the projects Okay, and the reflection phase. It allows teachers to consider the extent to which the previous phases in the evaluation process have been set. Teachers evaluate the uh, utility, equity, and appropriateness of the assessment techniques. Right? So, um, these are the very important basis of evaluations okay so i think uh this is the end of my report and i'd like to uh, give a phrase for you all like any complete evaluation requires the use of methods with multiple samplings multiple input from the stakeholders across multiple dimensions the learning experience and in okay so thank you very much and again i'm ivy desus um master of arts in education thank you